Okay, so we are still in our discussion on properties of exponents and now we will answer again another example in which we are going to evaluate the exponential uh, notation for us to get the value that we are required to acquire or to get. Okay, so we have given a to the n times a to the m which is equal to um, 100,000 and a n times n is equal to 1 million and a to the power of n over a to the power of m is equal to 10. So we have these three equations here. We are now required to find a. Okay. So solution. Okay, so first we will um, consider the solution at uh, these equations we have a to the power of n over a power of m is equals to 10 so this will be our equation 1 okay and then we have this expression also a n a to the power of n times a to the power of m is equal to 100 thousand okay now we need to um, manipulate this one so we maybe for for equation one here so we just write over here a to the n a m is equals to 10 we will multiply both sides by a to the m so we'll end up with a to the n is equals to 10 a raised to the power of m so we substitute this Maybe we could put this one in equation 2. So we substitute this one to 2. So our equation 2 now will become um, a to the n. So that is equal to this expression here. This one is equal to this one. So we we'll just write 10 a to the m times a to the m is equal to. 100,000 then we divide both sides okay divide both sides by 10 so we we'll end up with a, uh, a to the m times a to the m that will be a to m is equal to so 100,000 divided by 10 100,000 divide 10 okay and that will be equal to 10,000 okay 10,000 okay now we'll just square both sides so another property of our exponent is um, to square both sides okay so that we could cancel out the 2 here so what we, whatever we do to the left side of the equation we'll also do to the right side of the equation okay so we'll end up now with a to the m square root of 10,000 and the square root of 10,000 answer here is equal to the square root of 10,000 is equal to 100 now we will consider the add uh, the uh, the other equation that we have not yet considered this one so we consider a a to the nm is equal to 1 million okay so what we will do now is for us to use the property of uh, another property of exponent which is a to the m raised to the power of n so we could do that because they, they are multiplied because also the other way around a to the n times m but we do this one the a to the m because we have already solved the value of a to the m okay so this is equal to one million okay so the value for this one this will be equal to 100 okay so that is value of a raised to the power of n this is equal to 1 million okay 
Now the question now is what is the value now of our n here? So in order for us to get the value of 1 million, so we, need, we need to know how many times we could multiply our 1 million. Okay? So we could do that by trial and error. So for example, 100 raised to the power of 5. Okay, so maybe 2. Okay, so we have 3 zeros, so 3. Okay, so we have 3. Okay, so our, if we will have 100, suppose that n is equal to 3, raised to the power of 3, so this will be equal to 1 million. So the value of n is equal to now we are not done yet because we are going to solve for m so to solve for m we go back to we will go back to this um, part of the equation okay so we just go back and we will find a, a part of the equation in which we could solve for um a now we can solve for a okay so we know that so maybe we could have this one here okay this one okay we consider equation one okay consider equation one okay so this one so we know that a raised to the power of n a raised to the power of n over a raised to the power of m is equal to i believe that is equal to 10. okay that is equal to 10. okay so we have a value of our a raised to the power of m so and we have a value of n here so we could rewrite that one as a q over 100 times 10 uh, equal to 10 then we will just multiply both sides by 100 so we'll end up with a cube 10 times 100 so we just um, get the cube root for both sides so that we could cancel out our a cube in the on the end side of our radical so also we will do on the right side of the equation so that is 10 times 100 maybe in the in instance we will just we'll let you see the calculator okay but first let's just adjust this one for the calculator okay okay so we have now our calculator so we'll just have that one as the cube root so strip cube root of 10 times uh, that is 100 okay 100 so that is equal to 10 okay so we could see uh, see na, uh, see that our from that equation or from, from this one here we could say that our a is equal to cube root of 10 times 100 okay, let's just write this one legibly here okay so equal to the cube root of 10 times 100 so from the calculator we have solved that one so that is equal to 10 and this is now our answer This is now our answer okay so i hope you understand the solution for this example i hope you in, i hope you enjoy also the uh you have also uh, it is clear to you also the solution itself and thank you for watching as always enjoy learning